Hi guys, so today we are doing a, something a bit different, a different video, not a car that's coming to stock or a car that's going for sale, but a bit of a journey on um, what we've gone through. Um, we've ordered um, two Land Rover Defenders from Land Rover over a year ago. Now I know supply has been really low on these cars, but they've been put back and put back and put back and put back. Anyway, um, one of them have come into stock. Now these are not for um, not for sale. These are our company cars that we're going to use to tow our trailer with. Um, they're a 110 commercial diesel D250 HSE. Um, one of them has just come into stock. So we're going to go and pick it up from Land Rover. We're then going from Land Rover to see my good friends at Urban Automotive, who I, f I first started saying, you know, I just maybe I want a set of wheels, maybe I just want some arches. And then all of a sudden, Lenny and Simon have sort of wrapped me up into having a full conversion on, a, um, on both of these Defenders. So we're gonna quickly show you around the top floor of, um, well, the middle floor of the showroom. Got some nice stock in at the minute. We're gonna get in the car, we're gonna to go to the Land Rover dealership, then we're gonna to go to Urban and have a good look around Urban and you're gonna watch Lenny and Simon um, convince me to spend more money than what I wanna spend. So, right, let's go. So, there's I've got way too many keys on this one. So this is some new stock that's come in this week. Um, new Rolls-Royce Ghost. Now there's only one of these for sale in the whole country on a 72 plate. This is a, a thousand mile car, nearly absolutely brand new. That's just come into stock. We obviously know we've got these two monsters. This is a McLaren 765 LT. Now I wanted to do a video on this car, but I've sold it before I had chance to do a video. This is one of the most impressive cars I've ever driven. I think it's absolutely insane. And yes, although they're a lot of money, they're 300,000. Well, this one was a bit less, but it's a bit higher mileage. For me, better driving car than a Pista. Absolutely incredible car. Um, here we have a brand spanking new Porsche Turbo S in shark blue. No miles, fresh out the box. You walk into Porsche today and say, look, I want a Turbo S. They're not even gonna, they're not even gonna tell you to wait two years. They're just gonna say, sorry, sir, we're closed. Um, also, we have a brand new Cullinan, Rolls-Royce Cullinan that came into stock. The milk truck, white on white. Uh, brand new delivery mileage. Um, we also had another Cullinan come into stock in a color called Tempest uh, Gray, but it, it didn't make it back to the showroom. Um, I bought it and I sold it to somebody that day, so there you go. Right, off to Land Rover. Phone charger. Not that I use my phone, it's just for when I do need to use it. We've just signed the invoices and done everything. Um, Land Rover, Guy Salmon, Coventry were very, uh, very helpful. The few things we want to look at whilst I'm here, one is the 130 Defender that's just been launched. I've not seen one yet. And they're just telling me how, how um, short cars are in, in supply. So maybe I need to buy some Sports and some Vogues. Okay, so that's the car. Off to Urban, let's transform it. How here, much is it gonna cost here, me to oh, make yeah. this look like right, that? Right, okay, so you've bought me this. <laughs> this is your new 110 hardtop or commercial. So this is a new yeah, towing vehicle. Yeah, so the story with this is I've got two of these. Yeah. Because we, we deliver and collect cars with our trailers and, and We've got a Discovery that's just died a death. Right. So um, I need a I need a Defender. The, the Discovery Five is like quite a good-looking car anyway. It doesn't yeah. need a huge amount of modifications. This to look car, good. all this car had, we ordered it quite well. It had a set of 22s on it, which are better for towing anyway. Yeah, yeah. And um, I think it was HSE spec or whatever yeah. it might be. It, you know, it is what it is. It's got. But let's needs. face it, I don't think you could drive this standard like it is now, could you? No. <laughs> no. No. There's. It's. it's 
Obviously, this is a commercial version. Yeah, yeah. Because of tax benefits, yeah. by the way. Now, the, the first thing I'm looking at is, is the wheels. Now, we both know that wheels make a car. So, what's coming into my mind earlier, <laughs> right, is what I'm going to take this to come and see Lenny. And I know what you like. You just gonna let you just sort me out a set of wheels and like just a couple of little bits and stuff like that. But you know I'm gonna drive my hardest. That's, that's, that's what I'm you. thinking. I think I definitely need some wheels. Yeah. Okay. Um, and let's see what else, mate. Well, look. Okay. Let me. Right. So we've seen this. We've seen how basic Becky she is. Yeah. But you know, we we can make this look pretty without going too over the top. Because at the end of the day, this is going to be going to your clients' houses, yeah, yeah. you know, as a tow it's vehicle. It's got to look the part. It's got to look the part. And you're part. flying the urban flag for us in your tow vehicle. So yeah. I'm not going to push something onto you that I don't think is going to look yeah, yeah. Um, fitting of the Hartley brand. So come with me, as you can see already, even just with some wheels, colour coding and a few bits and pieces, it, yeah, because you see the, the, the back part of that bumper there is silver. It, exactly, yeah. So all the colour coding will be done. So the body mouldings, the front and rear bumpers. Now, so there'll be no plastic around the... No plastic, no, no plastic. silver, no, okay. no grey pl plastic. Rear spoiler. It looks good. Yeah? So you smiled when you saw that. <laughs> so I'm going so to put that down as a tick. Rear spoiler. Rear spoiler. Okay, we'll I go think, rear spoiler. I think spoiler. a rear spoiler. I like the colour coded. Yeah. Um, although them wheels are nice, I, I don't like them wheels. I, no, I prefer the another set that you do. Yeah, I'm the sure UC5, I think, is probably a little bit more suited. It's a bit more of a sort of luxury looking wheel. It's a bit more like a Range Rover wheel. So mm -hmm. that was the one that I was going to suggest to you. The other thing we need to speak about is arches. Now, you don't have any wide arches on. No. These are our wide track arches. Now, we do two different types. We've got the OEM Land Rover arches, which are extensions, mm -hmm. uh, but they're not as wide as these. Mm -hmm. Now, these aren't physically wider. They won't stick out the car, but the way we've designed them, where they come out a little bit more aggressive here, they yeah. come out more and then down, they just look really smart, and they go with the 22s. I'm, I'm, I know I'd, you, were worried like about, to see... you were worried about screw holes. Yeah, you know what? So, I, I think the, the arches are a must. Mm -hmm. It finishes off the car, especially if you're color coding it. Yeah. I'd like to see the other arches you just spoke about okay. because I I don't know how I feel about. I mean, they're just false rivet points, aren't they? They're, yeah, they're not it's, a, real. it's a design feature. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. I might I might come back to them. Okay. But I'd like to see the other ones. Well, look, I've got a 110 outside that has got the OEM arches, so should we side go have step. a look at that? I need side steps. Right, let's go and have a look at this one. Then. So these are the OEM Land Rover exten arch extensions that we've painted. Right. So they're not as aggressive. They don't. They don't look. So the other like ones. The other much. ones start higher, don't they? Yeah, exactly that. Because yeah. th this is cut out. Yeah. Now the roof light bar is one of our probably uh, is probably our biggest design feature. I but because like you're it. because you're towing, you got. I suppose you have to consider a little bit of drag. But then I don't think it's going to make a huge amount of difference. And that is a cool feature. You can't ride around with it on though, can you? No, you can't. No. No. So what, I mean, what's it for? <laughs> it, it's basically for road rage. But did it, <laughs> blinded people. It, but at if night. you had your full beams on, would they come on? No. Okay, so you have to put them on separately. Yes. Oh, okay. Which is probably a good thing because yeah, I bet they're super bright. They they will light up a whole field. Yeah. Okay. They look good. Uh, okay. I don't think I don't think I so need question, them. So question question mark by the roof light bar yeah. then. Yeah. But. Yeah, I'd like, I, I, do, I, I do prefer them arches. Okay, well, let's have a look at the, those and then the, uh, the lower canards. Right, so back to this 90 then, the lower canards. So with the wide track arches, we've designed these lower canards, which is kind of like a half splitter yep. down here. Oh, that finishes it off. That finishes it off. It off. Yeah. The only thing is you can only have this with our wide track arches. It's designed to go with our wide track arches. <laughs> okay. How's that for a sales tactic? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it all ties in together. I, I, I think that's what the other ones are missing. Yeah, yeah. If I'm honest. Because that would annoy me. Yeah. That's so, the first thing I've seen on that other, other one. Yeah, so we're going spoiler. Uh, rear wheel cover because that's our branding and that's yeah, you yeah, fly yeah, the flag for that. us. Yeah, of course. Um, 22 inch alloys, side steps, wide track arches, canards, roof light bar. I don't know. How Look, much is a roof light bar? Um, about two eight plus the bat fitted. Oh. Right, okay. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> Have you got your wallet on you? Oh. Right, okay, so we'll question mark that for now. Okay. But considering you only came in here for wheels, I think I've done all right. 
You haven't done well, all right. I want, you, no, but I want you to do this on both cars. Yeah. Right, so matchy, matchy. Match, you've got to match. Perfect. Yeah, we'll do that then. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've got to shoot. Okay. But um, I'll leave this one with you. Yeah. The next one's coming next week. Perfect. And um, But as soon as this is done, I could do it back because I'm towing at the minute with an SV five litre autobiography. Oh. Yeah, just doing four miles to the gallon. I thought you were looking a little bit skinny, so you're not eating as well. Not eating at all. Fuel, yeah. Not eating at all. <laughs> Baked bean diet. <laughs> That's just, the money that comes in, I'm putting in the SV. <laughs> we'll get them sorted as soon as possible for Thank you. Thank you, mate. Good to see you, mate. Thank nice you. one. Cheers, Thank pal. You. Right, so it's D-Day, delivery day. So Urban, since our last uh, clip, I suppose, have received another Defender from me, um, which they're doing the full Urban kit on. But uh, today, the first one we delivered has been delivered to me. So I'm really looking forward to what it looks like. Um, it was done yesterday, but Lenny hasn't shown me any pictures or any videos or anything yet. So should be here shortly. So um, yeah, looking forward to it. I'm quite excited actually. I don't really get excited about cars, but from seeing it as a standard car with standard wheels and not color coded to seeing it with its full urban kit is, um, is yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Is this one mine instead? No. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you'd want the fuel in this. <laughs> Morning, mate. Looks nice then. Good morning. How are you, mate? I'm good, I'm good. Good to see you. Good to see you, how are you? Yeah, good, it's good. I've brought you a uh, transformed Yeah, defender. do you know what? I can't believe it. I can't believe how different it looks. It's not it, the same it, car, is it? No, I, it looks it looks fantastic. It looks really, really good. I'm, I'm really pleased with it. Well, you have gone for like more of a subtle look than what a lot of our customers Lenny, go for. all I wanted was wheels. But I know, <laughs> and I managed to upsell you to a few other little <laughs> yeah. bits. So let's just go through what we've done. So obviously, full paint package. Yep. So grill, bumper, all blacked out. Because that, that was silver before, wasn't exactly, it? Exactly, yeah. yeah. So we've done all the paint package, all down the body mouldings as well. Yeah. You've got the uh, aero blades, all front canards. They make such a big difference. Massive difference, yeah. Um, the wider the other arches, ones, it, it, it stopped, didn't it? And it yeah, was a bit exactly, yeah. But it does make a massive yeah, yeah, difference. Yeah. Um, makes it look a little bit more aggressive without going too over the top. Yeah. So those wide track arches. Which I didn't want, but now I'm glad I had. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now you've seen it, you're glad you've got yeah, it. Yeah. Um, satin black 22 inch WX2s. Yeah, they're nice. Uh, satin black side steps. Land Rover ones are usually silver, which obviously don't go. No. Nope. So ours are, ours are black. Yeah. Uh, we've got urban mud flaps for you. I noticed that. We never talked about mud flaps, but they, 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 they finish it, don't they? More urban branding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> as well. <laughs> um, and then your urban premium wheel cover on the back, and then more of the paint package. And the spoiler. And the spoiler as well. I like that spoiler. It's, yeah. it's just, it, you know, it's subtle. Yeah. Without well, you being know, a bit... We keep going on about it. You know, it's, uh, OEM Plus is our, is our style and we've made this car look nicer without being too aggressive and, and perfect for a um, Hartley brand tow vehicle. So the other one you're doing is the mirror image of this. Because they have to match. Identical, which I like as well. I, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I like uniform. Yeah, they so, have to um, match. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll be matchy-matchy. But I'm just, um, yeah, I'm really pleased with how it, how it turned out. I think it looks great. Are you happy? That's the most I am. No, I am actually. Do you know what? I don't ever, obviously I buy so many cars. I yeah. buy at least a car a day, maybe yeah. two or three cars yeah. some days. And they're, they're supercars, hypercars. And obviously this is a Defender, but this is for for the business. Yeah. You know, I, I'm going to look at this for the next three years yeah. probably. Yeah. So I was actually really like quite excited. <laughs> well, it's not often you modify cars, no, is it? No, but the thing is like, you know, yesterday I bought an SVJ Roadster mm -hmm. and don't care, like don't care, just. I don't. I don't. I haven't even because looked. Haven't even looked at it since so yesterday. For, for me and the, my media team that we brought, we're looking around like, oh my, oh my days! There's a Bugatti. There's, yeah. there's your. There's your Pagani, and there's in the in the shed in the back there. There's probably a load of Ferraris yeah. and Lambos yeah, and stuff like yeah. that. So to us, this is all nice, but to you, this is something different. Yeah, but the, to me, this is personal because this, I'm going to look at this and drive this and be in this for the next, um, the next probably three years. And as a friend of mine, I couldn't have you driving a standard Defender. I just couldn't have it. No. If, if you were, I did, I'd, well, I'd end up deleting your I, number. It would all go, it would all go back. It would all go wrong. There was actually a couple of other modification companies' names dropped in a conversation that we had together, and he was like, 
No way you're ever there. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, to be fair, without throwing too much shade, there's not, there's no other companies in the UK that do defenders like us. There isn't. What you know? I, what I like is what I like about the urban styling on Land Rovers is that it's enough. Yeah. You take it to the limit. Mm -hmm. For me, without, I mean, to a lot of people, that's not even modified, really. No. You know, a little spoiler here and, uh, you know, a little bit wider arches. Obviously, you get these companies like Luma and things like that. They're quite they, aggressive. Look, look, there's a market for they everyone. No, they massacre a, a car. Right, okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to sit I'm firmly sorry. on the fence as an well, urban representative and just say, look, there's a market for everyone. If, that, if that's the look that you want, I prefer this look, but there is a market for most cars. <laughs> <laughs> Can I show you the XRS quickly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because going from this. Going from this, this sounds good. Yes. I heard it when you came so in. So it's based on the, the V8. Now, this is the, um, the flagship. So th this started life as a 525, 525 V8, V8 90. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this is the flagship now, this is the XRS, this is a limited to 65 builds. This is number one, V8 Herb, this is Simon's one. Yep. Um, but this has everything that we've got, everything. So this boiler is the same as mine, but it's carbon. Exposed carbon fibre, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Um, wide arches as well, 23 inch um, forged alloys in collaboration with So they're 23, with so 23. anything over 22s become forged? Um, no, you can get 20. So Yanni has got 23 inch cast wheels on his on his Defender. Yeah, it's because he's tight then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying a word. <laughs> no, he liked he liked the style of his 23s, but yeah, this has got everything. Carbon oh, you got a different bonnet. bonnet? Yeah, carbon fiber bonnet with these grills. Um, our square DRLs. So this whole grill. bonnet is carbon. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly that. Yeah, and then you've got the pièce de résistance, the interior. So, so I've seen one of these in build at, at your place. Yeah. I haven't seen one finished. No, so this is it done. So carbon steel wheel. Let me jump in. Steel wheel. Sorry, I've done my knee at the minute, hobbling along. Like, oh, oh, man, oh this it. is nice. Oh, I like the seats. Are we allowed to make a bit of noise? Of course we're allowed to make right. a bit of noise. Right. So, is anything I know how to do? So do you remember the old 2017 SVR? Yeah. So that, that, that sound, pots and bangs, exactly. Yeah. We've brought that back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the reaction good. every time someone hears it. I didn't really expect that. Yeah, it's fantastic, <laughs> isn't it? Different steering wheel? Yeah, chunkier steering wheel, flat bottom steering wheel, Recaro CS Sports. This seats, is all different. All carbon interior as well. Yeah, I like this. It's cool, isn't it? Big V8 go-kart. I bet it's good on petrol. It's horrendous on petrol, yeah. but you know, smiles per miles, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, since that's been in build, we've been delivering cars with our trailer being towed by a G63. Right, that's not ideal, because so, they've got the aerodynamics of a house brick, yeah, and, and it's a four litre V8 twin turbo. Yeah, towing, towing three something. ton. Ouch. So what's that, about 10 miles a gallon, under, single digits? Mate, Mitzi ain't getting 10 miles to the <laughs> gallon. And, she, and, <laughs> and she's not towing. And she ain't towing. <laughs> I, think, I think we were doing four or six the other day. I was like, oh. Yeah, so that's that. That's Just watching our... my profit disappear. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, look, come in and let me show you around what we've got Perfect. anyway. What we've got in. Oh, so here, um, God, we've got, we've got, let's start over here. We've got a brand spanking new Shark Blue Turbo S. That's a loud colour. Nice, it's lovely. It? Really, really lovely. Yeah. Really um, nice. So that that's that's you know that's a couple of days old. It's never been driven. Um, brand new. Got a red GT2 RS. G I've got three GT2 RSs. Have you really? Yeah. I'm cornering the market, mate. <laughs> <laughs> um, look, these cars still got a lot of room room to grow, especially yeah. now that. My thinking is this, the GT3 RS, the 992, is just going to be launched in a minute. Yeah. That's going to cost 250 grand mm -hmm. retail. Mm -hmm. They're going to go to 400. Right. So what would you rather have? A GT2 RS, which has done every 15 years. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the Widowmaker. And they all just keep going up, don't they? All the last generation That's ones, they've all stayed in so, decent. So, you know, in a minute, someone's going to go, hang on a minute. You know, a, a standard GT3 mm. is 250 grand. Yeah. That's a stunning spec you know, as well. I love the red with the yellow. Yeah, so I've got um, a GT Silver one downstairs, a two GT Silver one downstairs, and, and this. And you're going to sell this, Cullen, and then you're going to convince the customers to come to Urban of to course. have a new kit that of you course. love. Yeah. Of course. This is a brand new Cullinan. Yeah. Um, we've got a 488 Pista. 
Carbon wheels. Yeah, this is like mad spec. So carbon wheels, carbon everything. It's a um, Rosso Ferrano, which is an 18 grand color. Painted stripe, twin stripe. I mean, it's just... Yeah, it's stunning. Yeah. These if you had these... to choose, are you Ferrari or Lamborghini or do you... Could it depends what model. That, it's always that, isn't yeah. it? For me, the event, that, that SVJ Rosa, that's the first thing, you know, if I came into that kind of money, that's the first thing I'd buy. And I know the Ferraris are more comfortable. I know they're better driving cars, but as far as I'm concerned, wow factor. Oh yeah, wow factor. And, yeah. you know, just sheer drama. I don't think there's anything better. So than I had this conversation with Robert yesterday. SVJ Roadster. Yeah. 812 GTS. Mm -hmm. They're ish the same kind of price. Yeah. There's like 25 grand between them. But they them. couldn't be any more different. They couldn't be any more different. Which one do you have? Oh, see, for me. They're both, they're both V12s, they're both open tops. So they're both low numbered. For me, I, I, I'm a poser, I'm going to admit. Yeah. Anywhere where you can pull up when the doors go up like that, 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 that I mean, for me is... There's no, there's no doubt for me the 812 GTS is a better driving car. Yes. It's a better using car. It's probably a better car. More comfortable, more drivable. But it don't look like that. And that's the thing. And they don't sound like that. That's obviously you know they're. they're that's just, a neck snapper. Yeah. Mm. And this is the first Ferrari 296 GTB to go on sale in the UK. This is the hybrid one, is it? This is a. This is a. This is so impressive. It's unbelievable. So this is a V6 hybrid. The V6. That's it. Because I went out in an SF90, yeah. which was one of the scariest cars I've ever been in. The guy came from Essex to Milton Keynes. So hour and a half. Tires were warm dry day and it was still spinning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're ridiculous, but this is the V6 one. Do you know what? The only thing I can say about this car is it's not a V6, it's a baby V12. Really? This car is insane. Absolutely, I'm so blown away. I hate small engines, like yeah. V6s. Like... We, but we have to admit it, it's the way it's going, but that's why these type of cars, they're gonna go up in value, surely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Naturally yeah. aspirated yeah. V12s because everything's lower placement now and they're either adding turbos or hybrids. I don't think that would get anywhere near that no. um, performance-wise. No. And that's saying a lot. Amazing. That is unbelievable. Yeah, and then we've got the very special corner. Yeah, yeah, so then we've got the um, the big boy corner. This old thing, well, forget that. We've just no, got that the, old thing. Don't, don't worry about yeah. that. So this is your baby, isn't it? This yeah, is your... Yeah, yeah, This is the only thing in here that's not for sale. I, I said to the boys when we when we first saw it, I mean, they're, they're just as much artwork as they are cars, yeah, aren't they? I mean, of course. when you look more and more, the detail in them is incredible, but that's why it's just nice, I mean, you drive it though, didn't you? You yeah. take it out and yeah, you yeah, use yeah. it and stuff like that. Which is... What's the point in not? Yeah. Like, who am I saving it for? Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to sell it. So what makes a difference? It's done 5,000 miles. I bought it with 2,000 miles. Mm -hmm. But I, I've only had my driving license back for nine months. Right. So I had it for a year. Yeah. Or 18 months I had it for without a driving license. So it has been sat here as an ornament then. Yeah. So I, it sat here, got serviced. It come back and got serviced again. Stretches, stretches legs. Yeah, yeah. yeah, lovely, lovely. And then, uh, the and then Bugatti. this is this is sold. Really? Yeah, this is going to Dubai. Um, and these, I mean, how old are these now? Ten years old? Yeah. Well, the, the Veyron as the sixteen point four standard Veyron is two thousand six. Really? Mm. So over fifteen years old, mm. sixteen years old, and it's st but it still looks. That's great. a two thousand and twelve. That's one of the last editions of a of a Veyron, that's a super sport, Sang Noir. Um, yeah, that, I bought that from Dubai and I've sold it back to Dubai. Right, so I recently went, um, went for dinner with Horatio and a few, other, a few other customers that he's got in the UK, he invited us out for, for a meal, which is yeah. really nice of him mm -hmm. when he comes to the UK. And on the way there, so obviously you go for a meal with Horatio, you yeah. take your Pagani. Of course. You know, it'd be insulting. I'm going to turn up in one of your Golf GCD courtesy cars. I actually cars, want to turn you up in the Bandit <laughs> Royale. Um, so I stopped at um, Hobbycraft. Right. Off the, M, off the M1. Yeah. Um, near Watford. Got your Sharpie. To get my Sharpie. <laughs> Did you really? Pulled up outside the Pagani, <laughs> parked straight and disabled. Put your head in there and have a look. So cool. So, right, so when, what, when you, what you're saying to me is that signs... I should have brought Simon so he could sign the dashboard <laughs> of the Defender. <laughs> You'd have to give him a discount for that. Um, That's so, he does sign people's cars, but he normally signs them underneath the engine clamp. Yeah. And people lacquer over the top of it. Right. But I was like, no, no, no. I've, 
I've got to look in my rear view mirror and see that. That you is know? so cool. So cool. Do you reckon that will, like, joking aside, do you think that will bump up the value? Of, of course it? it will. But it doesn't matter because you're not selling it. But it's yeah, no, it, look, it, it's, it's, it's like Leonardo da Vinci yeah. signing a painting. Yeah, you know? and you can see it in your Because he is the Leonardo there. da Vinci of, of the car world. It's unbelievable. So cool, so cool. So I've had the TH2 plate fitted. So it's official. It's official. This is our new tow mobile. Perfect. Mate, thank you very much. No problem at all. No I'm, problem at all. I'm, I'm very happy with it. And I'll see you in a week or so for the, yeah, uh, the next one. I'll come down and get the next one. Perfect. Since you won't deliver right, it. I'll, I'll sort the bacon rolls next time then. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, mate. Nice one, mate.